Hello, Susanna here from the Good Property Company. Now, Tiff is behind the camera and she is keeping her nails out of the shot because those nails are long. So, <laughs> good professional camera woman work, I reckon, Tiff. So, um, here I'm just going to talk about all the pitfalls and all the odds and sods that go wrong. I bet this rings a few uh, bells with folks. So, Monday, um, what happened last week? I was on holiday. I had a gorgeous weekend in Liverpool up with my family, with my parents and my son. My dad and I did the 10K, which is just an excuse to hang out together. Um, my son spent time with his grandparents and his mum, which was lovely. I drive back down. I think, I'll be responsible. I'll just pop in. We've only got Ildi working because bank holiday. She was doing some viewings. I'll just make her a nice cup of tea. I'll go home. Yeah? In, in my dreams. Walk in to find that, by mistake, we hadn't got a property cleaned in time and he'll do moving tenants out and tenants in. Uh, so bank holiday Monday, I put on my sweats, I picked up some cleaning equipment and I spent three and a half hours cleaning a property. So, so much for financial freedom. And then we moved to Saturday. Um, we just want to provide 24 hours accident and emergency kind of for the mobile phone, but we don't do viewings. We don't answer inquiries about uh, viewings. We just want to be there um, available with the phone for accident and emergency. What happens? Two, not one, two boilers go. Not on Monday morning or Tuesday afternoon or Wednesday. No on Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening. So I'm sat there at home going, okay, luckily I was working on the business anyway. Okay, and uh, we have a really great team of tradespeople and we actually have about seven plumbers on our books um, and we like working with all of them. And I was very fortunate. I went through the list. Um, a couple of them were out. Uh, one of them had started uh, his celebrations of the Saturday night at three o'clock and I was talking to him at half past four and he was like, Suze, I can't drive anymore. Um, and I was really lucky that one of our really great guys went out and was still working on it till 10 o'clock at night, ordered all the parts and the things getting finished off today. This stuff happens. You know, I've got a really great business. I work with really amazing people. There's Ash coming back in. And yet this stuff still happens. Every now and again, I have to put my sweats on, roll my sleeves up and scrub a house for three hours. Or on a Saturday evening, I need to be communing with my plumber just to make sure that the, the head tenants got heating. I just think it's all part of the speed bumps and property. And if this rings a bell to you, with you, then we're just all grafting, aren't we? See you soon. Bye.